So right now, so right now, I want you to, well, not even right now after this video, I want you to go on Google on your phone and look what's trending. Look what's trending. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you real quick. You ain't got to do it. I'm going to show you real quick. Okay, so we got a subliminal message. We got a subliminal message. Let me click on it. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm in a good mood. We got the winter solstice, man. December 21st, the Great Conjunction, an event during which the two largest planets in our solar system, Jupiter and Saturn, were, will nearly overlap to form a double planet. That's not even the good stuff. That's not even the good stuff. What that say? It is not Photoshop. You can go on Google right now. It is trending on the news two days ago. They've been making posts about this since two, three weeks ago. I don't even, hey, let's get to the good stuff, though. I'm ready for y'all. I'm ready for y'all. Mavic astrophysicist calls for unusual intense solar flare straying from consensuous view. <laughs> when the chips are down and the big storm is brewing on Earth, odds are that forecasters are predicting close to the same thing. When it comes to space, weather, and storms that flare up on the surface of the sun, that's not always the case. The sun has begun a new 11 year cycle. Everything is 11. I promise you that everything is 11. And I'm going to post a video about that. And scientists have very different ideas on just how much energy will be available to fuel this eruption. So they don't even know how much energy we're going to need for this solar flare to fuel the sun's eruption. That's basically what they're confirming. A power outage. Okay, so basically, the sun has begun a new 11-year cycle. Keep that in mind. But a prominent astrophysicist at the National Center of Atmospheric Research, Scott McIkintosh, foresees the sun going gangbusters. The cycle is already off to a fast start, coinciding with the recent publication of McIntosh's paper in Solar Physics. The weather on the sun matters because solar outbursts can unleash radiation into the Earth's atmosphere. That is dangerous for air travelers, interfere with spacecraft and satellites, and in a worst case scenario, inflict significant damage on Earth's power grids. So this is something that we've been talking about. A power outage. Three days of darkness. Because of a solar flare. Pretty sure you heard a lot of spiritual people talk about this. The news is confirming it. The news is confirming it. But hey, man, there you have it. The solar flare is here. The great conjunction is here. The age of Aquarius is here. The age of awakening, the age of information. The shift is here. Like I, like I said in my recent video, man, this is the last normal day for humanity. The last normal day. Hey, man, turn up, y'all. Turn up, y'all. All that hard work we've been putting in. Let's go. <laughs> X-Men, a documentary. I see why I say that now. I've been to why I said that. Y'all stay positive. Y'all stay happy. Most of all, just be thankful. 11-11.